Okay, so what we're going to be doing first is we're going to be registering our domain name. So you can see here I have the domain uh, messenger.ace.vc uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to register a different domain name for the actual tutorial. So if I go to my domains, you can see I have the domain msg.ace.vc which is just message for short, it's, uh, short for message. And what we're going to do is we're going to point it at best space. So the way we do that is we use NS records. So we're going to uh, create an NS record and its name is going to be at because if I did for example www that would be um, that would mean that the domain www.msg.ace.vc points to best space but if I put an at sign in what it means is I want to point the whole domain which is msg.ace.vc towards best space so when I, I put an at in for the name of the record I choose ns as the type and I put ns1.basecloud.co and I add that name server record then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another at sign in and another ns record for ns2.basecloud.co because that is the second best space name server. So if I go over to cPanel uh, and I just put an add on, you can see uh, that here it is add on domain shows up. So if I click add on domains it takes me to this page and I'm going to choose the domain I want to add. Obviously I want to add msg.as.vc so I'm going to type msg.as.vc into uh, the domain name, the subdomain just that doesn't matter uh, and then the document root is going to be subdomains slash msg.asdvc subdomains is a folder I already have created and that's where I store my subdomains in this account so uh, that's where I'm going to be storing the files for msg.asdvc so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click add domain so you can see here the domain um, msg.asdvc has been added to my account if I click back uh, there we just it just says we're using our maximum number of domains. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to that domain now. So here I am on the home page of msg.asdvc and you can see it says index of uh, blank. That's because we haven't uploaded any files. If I go to FileZilla, you can see uh, it's just a blank directory. So what I'll do is I'll just create an index page. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create uh, another page called Get Messages. PHP. Then I'm going to create another page called update messages.php. And those are all the files that we need for this whole tutorial series. So if I just refresh, you'll see we'll have a blank page now. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.